to have the original theme or have the original character, but knowing that she's going to have a very different journey. That was a big part for me, is knowing part of the story in, in that things are not all great. At the end of Horizon Zero Dawn, there's been this catharsis of like, I've resolved something, but that doesn't mean that everything in the world is resolved. There's almost an element of sadness or an element of impending danger that was really interesting to weave into that theme. My challenge in the beginning was more or less just uh, making a new musical history. Determining what, what the sound palette was for, uh, for example, the Tanakt. And it was a fun process as well to uh, get to which drums would work in the game. That was a fun assignment, to say the least. It turned out to be a unique sound that made it onto Horizon. We came at it as, if, imagine if we lived in that world and we found this instrument but we didn't know how you played it, what would you do? You maybe wouldn't pick up a guitar and play it like a guitar if you had never seen one before, you'd never seen the historical pictures of it. You can play instruments without completely changing the sound, but you can play them in a different way. Setting up a rhythmic delay and, and, and using a guitar as a kind of more of a percussion instrument rather than as a lead using a um, volume pedal to take off all the attack. You can still play the chords that a guitarist can play on a guitar, but you get this, this completely otherworldly kind of sound. Musically, I wanted to make sure that what I did aligned with the vision of the world. I was just expanding on the world that you guys had created already, and that was a great challenge. There's a certain point where I get goosebumps. There's the goosebumps at the start of the project where you're excited, but you're also nervous. But then there's the goosebumps at the end where you realize this is something special. This has all the DNA to be something really special.